so today we are going to try some of the no-name decaffeinated coffee. So got the hot water here. Gonna see if it's any better than the Nescafe brand, which tastes horrible. Okay, smelling it, it doesn't have too bad of a smell, so I'm not gonna overdo it. I'm gonna put about this much in, a really big, just one big spoonful. So now that it's dissolved, it has a similar color um, as the Nescafe, similar consistency color-wise and everything as the Nescafe. Now I'm just going to grab some sugar. Got the sugar here. Gotta rinse up my spoon to use the sugar. Okay, we've got one, one and kind of like a hat. We'll do one more small half. Now I'm gonna add some 10% cream. Really hope this is better than the Nescafe. Okay, here we go. Let's see. It actually tastes better than Nescafe, wow. See, the Nescafe leaves a very artificial aftertaste. This could pass close to brewed coffee. Um, yeah, this tastes good. The amount I used, one just big spoonful and like two, kind of two spoonfuls of sugar and a bit of cream. Still not quite as good as brewed coffee, but still way better than the Nescafe, so I'm a little surprised. Uh, this was $5.49 for this container. If you watch my other video, you'll see me reviewing the Nescafe, and I've been using the Nescafe every day, but I find it really, really gross and nasty. It doesn't taste good. Uh, this is 150 grams, and it costs yeah, $5.49 for this whole jar, so... That is my review. Thanks for watching.